What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we finally got the 7 Series here. We got a new battery, um, washer fluids, uh, the wipers, and all that good stuff. My brother's bringing his tripod because I forgot it at my house. Um, <laughs> and I am here. We do have our new wrap. We're trying a new brand, Cheetah Wrap. Um, so this video, we're gonna have a lot of things to do, so I might as well just literally start, literally just gonna start getting into it. Um, I'm actually having my brother help me, which you guys are familiar with, he knows how to wrap and stuff. I'm having somebody else help me, which I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to purposely not show their face, but they're gonna try to help us, and I'm gonna try to teach them how to wrap cars and stuff like that. I ordered five by 75 feet, which is more than enough to wrap this entire car and even another half of a car. But uh, I ordered that much just in case we have some uh, hiccups and mess ups. Um, it's all gravy in the Navy. And also this car is a very long car, so maybe I'm underestimated just a little bit, um, but we did get enough wrap just in case. All that being said, uh, the first things we're gonna do um, is go ahead and do the windshield wipers, windshield wipers and windshield washer fluids because those are easy to knock out. The battery we do in the end because we're gonna be opening the door and doing a whole bunch of things. We don't want uh, to kill the new battery, so might as well kill the old battery. Throw in the new battery before we actually head out. The M4, we have an update for it. I'll keep you guys posted probably in the next video. Um, but um, yeah, it's probably actually gonna be the next video. So the next video, uh, we're gonna be uh, keeping you guys posted what's going on with the M4. As for now, uh, this video, let's get into it. New wipers, check. New fluids, check. We already knocked off another light on the dash. Let's go ahead and start working on some of the wrapping, guys. We really want to start wrapping the side portfolio. This car is black, so we're going to go ahead and repolish the roof, repolish that, keep that gloss black. Um, actually, wrap these in gloss black and wrap the car in, uh, you know, in, 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 in some kind of color, which is going to be super, super, super sick. So, you guys are about to see in a little bit. All right, guys, so uh, as for the door handles, because I know a lot of people don't actually know how to read these door handles, it really helps out when wrapping the whole door and then wrapping the door handle individually. Um, what we found on YouTube is there's normally a screw that goes in like this. This is the screw you typically remove on every other car, but this car, there's a screw that goes directly across, like this far deep, and uh, you just loosen it up a little bit, remove the screw, and this thing pretty much just comes out. It's like held in by a tab. So if I go ahead and go in here, directly across, you see the angle of my screwdriver? That's the way it's supposed to be on a 7 Series and a 5 Series. You just loosen it up like this, take it out. It's not completely loosened up yet. <laughs> a little bit more. And uh, should be good now. Just nice. like that. So easy. Actually, this is probably one of the easiest door handles I've ever done in any car, to be honest. I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For I pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page So, the color we ended up going with, because the car is, you know, this very nice and ugly black, uh, we decided to make something even better. What's better than black, y'all? More black. More black. So, what we went ahead and went with is some cheetah wrap. We never actually tried cheetah, but we got, imagine it's a completely different color. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Two-man job, guys. All right, really? Yeah. So, we ended up getting here. <laughs> We end up getting a pretty much a satin black. Oh, this actually looks so good, dude. This is gonna look so good. So we have a satin black uh, finish. The reason being is that the car is already pretty much black and I love black cars. Like it's just, it's, it's really nice. But this one has been honestly abused. The paint all around has just swirl marks everywhere, has scratches everywhere that's deep that will need pretty much, it needs a whole new paint correction, which it'll cost pretty much more than what I bought the car for. That being said, um, 
We ordered more than enough wrap uh, for uh, my girl to uh, practice on here as well. <laughs> so you guys are about to see her behind the scenes, kind of low key behind the scenes because we're not going to introduce you to her just yet. She's actually holding the camera. So. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will get to see her pretty soon. But for now, um, she is going to be helping us. We're going to be teaching her how to wrap a car. Uh, so if she can do it with us, you guys can obviously do it. I mean, she's never even done anything like this, right? No. Nope. No. So uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and hopefully wrap it all satin black. The reason I want to do satin black in the first place is because the car is black. The roof is black. We're going to have gloss black touches, uh, like original black uh, touches everywhere. We're going to have satin black touches. And we also ordered some gloss black wraps so we can have like the, the chrome trim deleted to gloss black. So it's gonna be a lot of black theme to the car. I think it's gonna look super sick, especially for a seven series. Without further ado, let's just start wrapping. Wait, this wasn't recording. What, which part? I wasn't recording. No, the whole thing. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> You're already making jokes. <laughs> guys so we have the satin black wrap on the car it's looking like a million bucks as for the door handles um we could have wrapped this inner door handle to make it absolutely perfect um but the thing is whenever you wrap the inner door handle at least in my case i need to probably take these door handles down to junior and have them rewrap this uh, the inner portion always ends up being bad for me so i'm gonna have them wrap those as for the outer portions i think they look really 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 cool when they match the color of the car and then this is just gloss black. It's gonna match the trim right here, this trim. I don't know if we should leave this, the color, the original color with the roof, leave these both the original color, or should we actually wrap this in satin black? Let me know down below, but uh, we could just leave this the same color as the roof and uh, just polish it all out. I think it looks super, super, super good. And yes, the car's looking beautiful. I mean, honestly, I didn't think it was gonna look this good, but it was looking amazing. I can't wait to actually fix this bumper, wrap the rear bumper as well with the tail light. It just looks amazing, guys. Literally, a wrap really does change the car. Another thing that will change this car completely is this garbage battery. We, we, we finally got a brand new battery. This isn't brand new, brand new, but brand new to us. It is a 2020 battery. And I found this for $100, pretty much half of how much it cost originally. So I was like, you know what? Let's tackle it. Hopefully this isn't like a bogus battery and it's garbage. Let's go ahead and put it inside the car. Um, it should be an easy install. I don't know if this one has the modules. Uh, let's pull and pull this out. 
Okay, so it does have the module, but it'll be, take a little bit longer, but still should be pretty easy to remove this guy. Once you remove that, remove that, replace the battery, and then um, all of our errors that are just constantly coming on and off should just permanently fix itself. Literally the climate controls, the AC, none of that stuff's working right now. And even saying the DMTO pump is not working and that just came out of nowhere. So I don't know if that's a battery issue or the actual car issue. I'm starting to think it could be majorly a battery issue. So let's go ahead and remove the battery, install the new battery, code it in and see if everything is good to go. All right, so we finally got the new battery installed. Let's go ahead and get Carly and just code it in. Uh, actually, before I close the trunk, let's make sure the car actually is connected. So yep, car does have power. We can go ahead and just close the trunk. Let's go ahead and just code in the new battery. And hopefully, hopefully uh, we have no more issues with this car in terms of at least battery and we can start knocking things out uh, if there's things actually wrong with the car. All right guys, back in the car, let's go ahead and put the car in accessory mode. Uh, automatically, the temperatures are reading 39, which is higher than usual than it normally reads. Um, but anywho, let's go ahead and connect to the car and then let's go ahead and read the codes and clear the codes. Um, we also need to also program the battery. So we're gonna have to do all that real quick. Actually, since now we're connected, let's go ahead and program the battery first. This is an H7 instead of an H8 battery. So it's very important that we actually code this in. It actually says battery reset right there. Continue, uh, register, same battery, register new type of battery. I believe this was an 80 AH. Uh, let's go ahead and just change battery type real quick. All right guys, the car is still being very, very, very weird. None of this stuff is actually working and uh, I'm still getting a bunch of random codes. So the battery's not even registering through Carly. I don't really know what the reason is for that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit up Nick and see what's going on with this car. But again, this car is a complete mystery. I'll check back to you in a little bit, uh, about two seconds. And this is the next day. So uh, like I said, guys, I wanna make these videos as jam packed as possible. So uh, yeah, obviously yesterday we replaced the battery. We're back in the car. Um, I actually got the battery registered with Nick last night, so he did register the battery. He actually said Carly registered it as well, but for some reason Carly kept on saying error, but for some reason it did end up registering at the end of the day, which is all that matters. Uh, so we're good to go on that. In terms of the check engine light and in terms of the climate controls and all these buttons, like none of it's working, literally nothing here is working. Um, my friend Nick said it's probably, it's not getting any signals to the car whatsoever, so it's probably going to have to be a fuse. So let's go ahead and go home real quick and uh, let's check the fuses, hopefully for the DMT pump which is what's causing the check engine light and then also the fuse for uh, the climate control because uh, that also needs to get done. See, I'm really hoping that the climate controls and everything in terms of switches and buttons are gonna work once we replace the fuses. And I'm really hoping the DMT on pump is gonna start working as soon as we replace the fuse for that. I'm really hoping those fuses are blown. That's gonna be best case scenario. Worst comes to worst, we're gonna have to replace our climate control modules and everything. Not the worst, I mean, it's, it's only like 50 bucks. Nothing crazy on this car, surprisingly. And the DMT on pump, obviously, it's just another like uh, probably 50 to 100 bucks. But obviously, if it's money that we could just spend on a fuse, which is like literally 15 25 cents i'll be a, i'll be a lot happier man you know what i mean so now that we're finally at my dad's house, let's go ahead and open up the glove box and uh, let's go in here real quick. I actually just remembered guys, the fuse box on this car is actually in the trunk. Let's go ahead and put the fluids back over here, pop this thing open and uh, yeah, the instruction manual is actually back here. I completely forgot about that. So looking at this, which one is the climate controls? So the DMTL pump is gonna have one of these fuses right here. So we need to check 135, 139 and 184. And as for the climate control, I think it has something to do with uh, the snow flake so right over here we need to check all these fuses i think from according to online and my friend nick he said it's fuse 11 uh i think so so we're gonna go ahead and check all these in particular fuse 11 and uh, just see if any of these are blown and this should hopefully fix all of our climate control issues and this should hopefully fix our check engine light issue because we have a dmtl pump code and if we see that blown we're gonna be some happy people here so 135 is right here let's go ahead and pull that little baby out 135 seems to be good. Let's go ahead and put 135 back in there. 139 is actually missing, guys. So we need fuse 139. It goes in right here on the third one. So uh, I don't know why that's missing. Let's go ahead and put a fuse in 130, 139. I think that's gonna help definitely with our code. I right, got a new fuse. Let's go ahead and put it in 139. Bada bing, bada bang. And let's just check the last fuel one, which is 184. So 184 is this first one right there that I believe it's a 20 amp and that seems to be just fine so um in terms of the dmtl pump one guys i'm hoping it's just because that fuse was 100 percent missing uh so that one is done next thing we're gonna have to actually jump into the interior to check out the climate control one this is kind of i don't know if i can sit you guys up anywhere over here i'll sit you guys up right here 
But uh, let me go ahead and try to figure out where 139 is and then uh, we'll start from that one and then we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and try to knock the other ones out. some research um I, I i already checked all the fuses those were the fuses for the climate controls and they were all good so that leads me to believe either my unit is dead everything here is dead because if i turn on the car again i can't click heated seats i can't turn on my ac i can't do anything i can't even adjust the volume or eject the buttons or anything at all i have to adjust the volume from right here so that's super 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 weird so I think at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and there might be some fuses um, back here. So let's go ahead, just pull off the trim, remove this thing and uh, check the fuses. All right guys, so we ended up removing this and it's still not working. We unplugged it, replugged it. I didn't see any fuses behind this thing. I we checked the glove box for the fuses and nothing. So uh, in terms of the check engine light, that was because of the DMTL pump. Let's go ahead and clear the codes and see if the code still pumps, uh, comes back up for the pump. Hopefully we are good to go, at least for the check engine light. As for this, we might need a whole new unit right here. Not too expensive, but I just can't believe how everything just went out just like that. Ah oh, man, I was really hoping this is gonna work, guys. I'm still gonna do more research on it before ordering a new one. It's not because I'm cheap and I don't wanna spend an extra $50, but I have a feeling if I buy another one for $50, it's gonna do the exact same thing. And I, I just, doesn't make any sense how all this goes out all at once. Like nothing works at all. I've actually been meaning to replace this because all these buttons are worn out, these buttons are worn out. Like it looked kind of terrible. So I would prefer to replace this all, but it's just, I don't wanna go buy another one and that's not the problem. But I might end up ordering in one anyways just to make this look a lot nicer because some of the buttons are faded. It's just really weird. You know, everything just stops working all at once. Anywho, uh, we're gonna go into Carly real quick. Then I'm gonna open the rear doors. So for now, let's just go ahead and hope to God, or at least our DMTL pump is working and that uh, we have no more issues there. So we're gonna go ahead and clear the lights and re, re pretty much rescan the codes. And if the DMTL code is no longer there, we are in business. And if it's still there, unfortunately, um, we're gonna have to do a lot more diagnosing. All right, guys, clearing codes. Uh, let's just go ahead and let this finish this and then rescan the codes. And please, God, let's unleash the DMTL pump. That's a bigger issue. The check engine light's obviously a bigger issue than this. Obviously, the light did clear, but if we rescan it and the DMTL pump error is still there, um, we're, we still didn't solve the issue because as soon as I turn off the car and turn it back on, it'll come right back up. All right, guys, we rescan the codes, and thankfully, we're not getting any check engine light codes. Uh, we do have one engine one, but it's saying literally that the module for this is completely missing. It's not even reading it so it looks like this possibly could be completely shot but other than that i mean literally nothing else over here is really concerning guys we're down to 14 lights 14 errors compared to you know the, the 100 the 200 that we started with so we're really working everything down i'm super happy about that very bad and give us some credit guys. i know because the transmission that oh. that's like a major one you know obviously so that that's a huge one there uh the junction box we have water valve timeout status uh this one apparently is a react immediately code so we're looking into that as well we're trying to tackle all the red ones uh defective fog lamp defective fog lamp these two are red codes uh the fog lamps will be replaced once we get all the stuff for the front bumper as you guys know but looks like fingers crossed hopefully in the next video i'll let you guys know that check engine light comes back but looks like we took care of everything um so we can actually finish the registration on this car because literally i haven't even finished registration on this car because of the check engine light so uh we got that situated we got the airbag light also situated just in case we need to do vin verification chp and it's resetting tpms that should go away the two fog lights like i told you guys we'll solve that soon and the last thing is pretty much the main thing which is the transmission but we knocked out a whole list of codes guys i'm super happy about that without further ado Cop some merch if you guys have it to really support your boy. I really mean the world. Link down below. We just started accepting credit cards and any other form of payment, not just PayPal. It used to be just PayPal. Now it's every single form of payment. So if you guys want to check out that link down below, check it out. Cop some merch, support your boy. Without further ado, guys, hopefully the next video is going to be some big news on the M4 or it's also going to be working on this car. I'm probably going to be taking this car back to LA uh, to SSR because I just really love the, their shop. I love everything they do over there just to get some other work done on this car. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.